We are here with Nicholas Kuhn. Now, tell us a little bit about your character because this is very different from the roles that we've seen you in, like Dora the Explorer, Spy Kids. This is a very dark comedy. It is. Uh, yeah, I'm playing the character of Anthony Petrocelli. He's a 17-year-old kid who's basically gone over to Afghanistan. He's been deployed and... Uh, yeah, he's been really fun. He honestly, he's a gullible, kind of fresh-faced. He he just wants to be the best soldier he can be, which I think is a cool thing about him. But uh, he, he kind of learns throughout the show that you, you kind of have to break the rules a little bit in order to, to fit in with the other, you know, the other soldiers and to really experience Afghanistan over there. It's quite crazy. So, um, but yes, it's been very different to my other roles. It's uh, been a really cool stepping stone to go from working on kids shows um, and cartoons as you mentioned to uh, playing a soldier in the military yeah so how did that come to be this transition and auditioning for this particular project what drew you to this role huh. I've always wanted to uh, play a soldier I've always been really interested in military films and shows so when the opportunity came around uh, they were like hey we're looking for a 17 year old kid in the army and I was like what that never happens so I uh, when my manager passed along the email I was like yes get me in the room so uh, yeah, that audition was two days after Dora came out. So I just had a kids movie come out and then I auditioned for this and then pretty soon after found out I booked it. So I was over the moon. It, it really was a dream come true. So what do you do to train for a role like this, especially when you're still kind of doing press and in the headspace for Dora? Of course. Um, the, the sides for the audition were actually comedy. So I love comedy personally and I was like, you know what, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to do my thing and see what happens. Um, um, and I guess it kind of worked for the scene, they, they seem to enjoy it. But um, I mean, in preparation, I watched as many military shows as, as I could, and I watched some documentaries. Um, but also, the cool thing about Petrocelli is he's, he is new to the military, so he's not really meant to know everything, and there's a lot of that in the show where he's learning. So it's been cool for me, because I'm also learning as it's going along. I'm like, oh, that's actually really cool. Yeah. What was the most interesting thing that you feel that you've learned in the process of working Working on this show? It's a really good question. Um, and, um, I mean, there's so much etiquette and little things. For example, one day I had the, the rifle I was holding and I sat down and the barrel fell in the dirt. And this guy, the military man came up, he's like, hey, just so you know, you should never do that um, because apparently it gets dust in the barrel and then if you were to shoot a bullet, it can shoot dust everywhere. So, little tips and tricks like that that you would normally not think of. I mean, I didn't know that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, how to correctly salute or whether you should salute just fun things like that yeah and you said that you watch some other shows too this is kind of a lot of people are saying kind of like a modern day mash were you a mash fan I, I personally never watched mash I think I think I saw a few episodes when I was a kid it was just kind of on in the background but um yeah we've had a few people mention that and uh I've only ever heard people say great things about MASH, um, and I, I feel really honored that we're even being compared to it, so I think that's cool. 68 Whiskey is very much uh, modern and it's kind of a, a new show, but it's really cool that people are comparing us to such a legendary show like MASH, yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. Of course, yeah. Can we grab a